let's make a backpack or something. But before we start, join the Bacon family and let me know in the comments what would you like to learn next. I will try my best not to confuse you even more. For this project you will need some thick fabric, heat and bond vinyl, an iron, a sewing machine and your hands, a metal zipper, cotton ribbon, the spiky wheel of doom and clamps. The press work. I'm making a cat face bag because this is the fabric I have at home, but this is also a general how to make a round shaped backpack, I guess. So use whatever thicker fabric you have. Cut two pieces of the same size and shape and one half piece that will be an outside pocket. I acquired this heat and bone vinyl thing to protect the fabric and make my bag shiny. But I was very concerned about this cancer notice in the back. Better safe than sorry, I guess. First, protect the area where you will iron this on, then remove all hairs and lints and dirts from your fabric, cut a piece of vinyl and glue on top of it. Here I used my screen printing rubber thingy to get rid of any possible bubbles and make everything smooth. Iron it following the temperature and time instructions. Oh yeah, that stinks a lot. Don't touch it while it's warm, because it will be messed up. Wait for it to cool down and repeat on the other side if you wish. I'm doing it on both sides, but I don't think you need to if you don't want to. One thing I learned through this process is that gluing both sides at the same time and ironing them accordingly will give you a better and smoother finish. I learned that, as always, too late in the game. Also, the vinyl will not prevent your fabric from fraying, so take that into consideration as well. Cut all the excess that you may have, checking that your pieces are still the same size and shape. Prepare the half piece for your front pocket in the same way and let your weirdness get out of control by plastifying a patch of your friend's cat hair that was stuck to her curtains before she gave them to you. I know this is very morbid and weird, but I have attachment issues, so I'll give it to her. If she doesn't want it, she can throw it out. If I could stuff all of my pets and keep them with me forever, believe me, I would. Look at this fogging situation. <laughs> the assembly! I think she did throw it out after totally being freaked out about it. Run a zigzag stitch on the real intended border of your bag so you can prevent fraying, since the vinyl is useless in that case. With this spiky wheel of doom, mark a straight line on your half piece so it's easier to fold and sew it in place for a beautiful finish. Now place the pocket in front of one of the pieces and secure it using clamps and not pins. Pins will ruin the vinyl. Sew it in place. Here I decided to add an inside pocket to the other piece as well, but with no vinyl on it. I have one pocket on the outside. Inside. I have one pocket in the inside and now I have to sew something to keep them both away from each other and transform it into a bag. Yes! Measure the perimeter of your pieces and cut two strips of fabric a little longer than that. Attach a metal zipper right in the middle and overstitch the edge so it doesn't misbehave. Now it's time to add the shoulder straps. Here I am using the cotton ribbon I had left over from the hoop skirt from hell, but I had to dye it black first. is black. Find the middle of your strap and sew it to the top middle of the back piece forming a V. Finish the edges and attach one to each side of the bottom. I should have added this before I added this pocket but oh well it's too late now. <laughs> so now to these parts. I think sewing will be a challenge. Contact cement might not be enough. Hand sewing could work. Well it needs to be like this. It's a round purse, but I need to cut triangles here first so it will make the curve. Triangles it is! Run a straight stitch on the edge to prevent fraying and cut the triangles up to that seam. Careful not to snip it. So I think the only option I have is to sew this by hand. I will sew it as you would sew something from leather. <laughs> but first to duct tape the other side and test if it will fit. I think there will be a difference because the cats are not symmetrical. But let's see how this behaves. The moment of truth. Oh, the zipper is terrible on making curves. Okay, it works, but I have nothing to pinch here to close it, so I need to add something here so I can pinch it. Yes, it will close. It will be like this. Aww. It will take forever. 12 seconds later. Of course I had to try and sew it with the machine and I destroyed it completely. So I'll have to take it apart. 
My Sim Reaper died. It has been my companion for eight years. Eight years! I'm so sad because it's so good and so ergonomic and it fits my hand so perfectly and now it's dead. I have to use this monster. How can I live with this? And they don't exist anymore. I searched everywhere. I'm so sad. I had two of those but I lost the other one because I lose everything apparently. <laughs> Of course, the vinyl is destroyed now, but at least I had presence of spirit to do this on the back part. This will be attached to my back, so it's not that bad, I guess. <laughs> One eternity later. So I ironed it again and the sewing line is barely visible now. But you can still see it a little bit, but only if the light hits it weird, which is the case with the camera now. But from afar, it's gone. Amazing! Ah, maybe I should sew something here already for, so I can pull the... Yeah, I'll do that before I attach this. Place two ribbon ears somewhere random. I grab some roses and whiskers on kittens. Ah! I'm in the mood for rotisserie chicken. Now I have both of them lined up again. I don't have black waxed thread for leather sewing, but I do have this wool thing that I think could work. It seems strong enough and I have the beautiful beeswax that I got as a gift for all the boning that I bought. I know how to use it. Yeah. Wow, the difference. I never waxed a thread before. I always go all natural and it always backfires on me. Oh my, a wax thread. Look at this poor thing. All the indentations. <laughs> ah, my nails again. Hand sewing! What will I watch? Need something bingeable. What are you guys watching? Because I watched everything and I started Gilmore Girls, but that's just too ugh at the moment. Another eternity later. Oh, I'll watch Say I Do. Use this saddle stitch for the step, which is nothing more than a running stitch that went somewhere and came back because it forgot something at home. As you can see, I am great with plants because they don't scream when they're hungry, so I forget they're there. Well, I bought new ones that don't die that easily. These ones are five years and going, so why try something else? Okay, that's way too hard. I think the soup is somewhat done. Oh, let's make an ombre with the uh, yellow. It's whatever color. Le pink. Oui. I need compost. Right back. A few months later. I'm not cut for gardening stuff. Definitely using the wrong tool for this. Right? Can you say something? We're just standing there. Say something! Let's steal things from the in-laws.
glaube, das ist das Falsche, was du mitgenommen hast. Das ist das Deko-Ding. Das ist das Deko-Ding. Ja? Ja. Well, that was for nothing. Just pour water on top of them again. All replanted and pretty and ready to go inside for the winter. One freaking nail less. Ow, that hurts. ta -da. Front and back are finished and this light is terrible. Because I destroy the back, this looks weird. But the front are now pretty cool and smooth. I already cut the excess from the borders and the cat has true ears now. I just need to close this gap. And for that I will use a tiny piece of black that I will sew here on the bottom by hand. Like this, like this. It was supposed to be larger, but I cut it wrong. No, well, actually I cut it right. I sewed it wrong. This was the length and not the width. Anyways, now I have to deal with that. Oh well, as long as the bottom is closed, I don't care. Settle stitch! <laughs> now there's just one problem. The insides look like murder. I know I did this pocket here because I thought, okay, it's wearable. I think I need to put a lining in this bag. This looks horrendous! Jesus! The lining! For a lining, we need basically the same shapes as the bag, but a tad smaller. Now I don't really care for cat face placement, I just want two cats. Why is it patchy? Oh my god! Oh no! Pro tip, don't try to sharpen your left-handed scissors using a right-handed scissor sharpener. Yes, that's a thing and I ruined my scissors. Sew one of the main pieces to one of the long strips, right sides facing and repeat for the other side. Prepare the bottom square separately. Two things, one bottom semi-prepared. Oh, I just need to fit this inside. Use violence if necessary. It's a very confusing litter, but I think it will work. I will sew this in place, then I will hand sew the lining to the zipper. Assembled! And I understitched this here, so this seam would stand up. It makes my eyes weird. Damsel. Nine. Kitten. <laughs> in Germany called Arnestusis uh, Ipkis Astic. <laughs> bag. It's a sushi bag.
so sad. What's your problem? Why are you so sad anymore? Because you can't swim, I know. in my decolleté. There was a leaf in my blouse. Ew. There was an animal in my shirt. This animal was in my shirt. It was in my shirt. the scenes. Big dogs make big poops. Mm -hmm. 